Hi, and welcome to the first ever episode of Steve Eats. So I've decided to do this show for two, two main reasons. Uh, the first is over the years I've uh, developed quite a deserved reputation uh, of being someone who enjoys food and drink. So I thought it might be a good idea to try to share some of my experiences, some of my knowledge on these subjects. Uh, a lot of people told me, recommend that I do this because they, uh, they enjoy it when I it, talk to them about foods and things like that. A lot of people I, I over the years have suggested they try different places. They, they've always seemed to like them. So I thought I'd give it a shot and do like a little show here on Facebook. Uh, the second reason uh, is to try to encourage people to get back out into the world. The coronavirus is coming slowly to an end, hopefully. Uh, the last year has been very tough, especially on the smaller restaurants, cafes, microbrews, and things like that. And I was kind of hoping to get people excited uh, to go back out and start experiencing life and uh, enjoying these places that, that I've enjoyed you know, for, for years and years and years. So hopefully uh, some of the places I'll talk about, maybe you've tried before, and I'll encourage you to go back out and try it again for the first time in a while. Or many of them might be places you've never been to that you might want to try for the first time. And hopefully uh, you'll enjoy them as much as I do. So uh, this show, I'll have episodes where we'll be exploring, you know, everything from pizza, cheesesteaks, and wings to seafood uh, to, to the, the variety of microbrews that are around the New Jersey area. Uh, New Jersey has uh, a lot of excellent microbrews to try out. Uh, so, and I only think it's fitting uh, with another well-deserved reputation that I've garnered over the years, that my first episode, we will be trying a delicious piece of cake. Now, if we can zoom in on the cake, uh, this is from the Old World Bakery, which is at 1000 Smithville Road. It's right at the corner of Smithsville Road and uh, the North Pemberton Road. So uh, it's in between Mount Holly and Pemberton. It's a very large building. Uh, there's not a lot around it, so it's, it's not... Not hard to miss. Uh, so this is this is a cake called Light Side of the Moon. It's a fudge cake with raspberry brandy dressing, cream cheese filling with raspberry puree, iced in French buttercream. So let's give it a shot. I'm not gonna mess it up too much. Let's put it down on its side so we can see it. All right, as you can see, there's the fudge cake, the icing, the raspberry filling. Now, I'm not normally someone who enjoys a raspberry filling, but uh, I, I've had this cake before. Get on me. I've had this cake before, so it's it's very very good. And uh, let's give it a shot. So, the cream cheese filling in the middle. And get a little bit of everything on there. The raspberry dressing, the cream cheese filling. Are you getting the cake really good on this one? This is my cameraman's first day as well, so we got to give him a little bit of a, a break here. All right, so you see that? Man, that, that is absolutely fantastic. The cream cheese filling, uh, It's just this is just out of the fridge, so it's nice and cold. Uh, it's got, like, you know, nice... Full solid texture, just a marvelous taste. The cake is light, it's airy, spongy, just like it's supposed to be. Uh, the French buttercream uh, icing on the top is also very good. It, it just it all works together. Nothing overpowers the other thing. Comes a little little moon because it's the light side of the moon. A little piece of chocolate there. Make sure one more piece get the bottom here. The raspberry dressing, like I said, not normally a fan of that kind of thing. Uh, I know when I get cheesecake, a lot of times the cheesecake has like the cherries on top with the, with that goo, that red goo. I, I do not like that. I normally get my cheesecake plain. But this really just, it brings out the flavor of the whole cake. It all works together just brilliantly. Hmm. Wow. I can't wait to end my show so I can really hog down the rest of this piece of cake. So once again, this is the light side of the moon cake. 
Uh, this the Old Road Bakery uh, is an amazing place. It has all different kind of cakes and pastries, uh, donuts, bagels. They do uh, like rolls for sandwiches, dinner rolls. It, it's a full full service bakery. They have all of that. Uh, they also do pizzas and sandwiches. Uh, they do dinner specials during the week. Uh, go online, look them up, find them on Facebook. Again, they're uh, Old World Bakery on 1000 Smithsville Road in East Hampton Township in New Jersey. And the zip code is 08060. Uh, and again, it's between Mount Holly and Pemberton. Uh, look them up on Facebook. So one of the, just before we go, one of their other cakes that we love uh, it's called the Dark Side of the Moon, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's very similar to this cake, but it's all chocolate. It, it's the chocolate fudge cake. It's chocolate filling. It's chocolate icing. It's, it's just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Uh, if you're a chocolate fan, I could not recommend it more. Uh, these are more mass produced by the bakery because they sell these in restaurants all over the local area. So uh, if you see these, if you're out dining places uh, in, in South Jersey, and you see the light side of the moon or the dark side of the moon, this is where it comes from, the Old World Bakery. Uh, and they're just, they're fantastic. And like I said, they have a, a large variety of items. So if you're in the area, if you want to check it out, I highly recommend it. This cake is just, it's its fantastic. Now, I'm not going to be doing like like 5 out of 10 or you know, those kind of scores. Uh, I'm just going to do what I've done. I've told it, like, explain the cake or whatever the food is I'll be eating. Talk about how much I enjoy it or hopefully... It won't happen very often, but how much I don't enjoy it. Uh, so I think you'll probably be able to tell uh, what when I'm giving my reviews, what are the better items that, that we're trying. So with that being said, uh, have a good rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your Easter, and I'll see you real soon. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing any more in the next day or two, but Wednesday night, check back. Uh, it, it's my 20th anniversary, so my wife and I will be heading down to Atlantic City and I'm going to be trying out a restaurant that's been in Atlantic City for at least 100 years, if not longer, uh, the Knife and Fork. Uh, I've driven past it many, many times. I've always wanted to eat there, and I've never done it. But we're going down for, for my anniversary, and my wife and I are going to have dinner at the Knife and Fork. And I will do a review while I'm there and post it either Wednesday night or Thursday. So uh, I'll definitely see you by then. All right, thanks, and have a good night.